Welcome, welcome, dear friends, dear hobbyists. Uh, this is the ninth, ninth tutorial on uh, how to build a transistor computer. While on the background Serenity is uh, playing around at 10 Hz, uh, not for any purpose, but just to show you, I would like to come back to a question I asked in the last uh, tutorial. How to proceed? What do we do in 2026? For me, the hobby has two aspects. One is to understand how a computer work, works, but also uh, I would like to run programs on it, even large programs, and therefore I need the kind of reliability that a normal computer also has. If Serenity at this moment runs 100 commandos at, without error, I'm happy. And imagine that the laptop I'm having in front of me does uh, 1 billion uh, things every second without error. That's really a difference. It's about speed on one uh, hand. Uh, how fast can a computer go? That's really interesting. But what you absolutely need is reliability. And of course, as a yeah, technical guy, I love the complexity. But that's not always the issue. How fast can Serenity go? I don't know. I tried at uh, 1 hertz, at 10 hertz. But I didn't really do any experiments. Reliability is, uh, well, as I said, if it does 100 commands in a row, I'm happy. But I have an idea where uh, unreliability comes from. That's all the wires. Complexity, I don't have to mention that. That is uh, within us all. So that it will be complex, that is a promise. So as for goals, I imagine two separate goals for 2026. One, to have a Serenity, 6-bit or 8-bit, I don't know yet, but with the backplates all in PCBs, I am uh, in awe how good the JLC PCBs are, and they will uh, improve the reliability a lot. At least 1000 steps error free, and then accelerate to 10 Hz, 1 kHz, maybe 10 kHz, well, the actual um, limit will be by 100 kHz. In theory, that is. On the other hand, I want to build a Serenity 2 that extends to 32 control signals and I will add 16 bytes of RAM, which you already will see today, and 16 bit of bytes of ROM. And I will develop an ALU that uh, will use logic and shift registers to at least multiply and divide. And here is the total concept plan in a slide. And let's uh, pull the slide in a year and see how far we got. Okay, then back to what I did do last two weeks. I played around with a program. It's, uh, it's going to be a uh, program that calculates Fibonacci numbers, just like Benito did. But I'm not that far yet. But I have a concept of a program and there are a few things uh, I would like to show you. Um, there is a jump in there that is uh, line 15 and 16. It uh, has to return to place 3, 4 or 5, the jump space I called it. Uh, remember when you built the program counter that you jump first and then immediately one is added. So if you want to add a end up at place 5, you need to jump to place 4. I uh, forgot myself, so I show you the jump sequence to 5, but I corrected it later. Here's the jump sequence, all the lights are on. Uh, the value goes from Z, that is ROM, to B, B in, <coughs> and then to B out to the jump register. You see it happen once again. There it goes, perfectly. Then up to the addition. In line 11 and 12, uh, the two values are loaded into ALU register in A1 and 2. It automatically results in a result in ALU register in, but you have to load it in. Then you can put it out and display the result in B, and then turn the program around. I will show you a sequence of that in the following movie. So what I'm going to show you here is that Serenity is going to run a Fibonacci-like program. So first it jumps to the jump register to set it right. 
then start with value 2 and 2, that becomes 4, then it takes the highest value, 4, adds it plus the lowest value is 4, and comes up to 10, then the next value should be 16, and that's true. But then uh, the jump goes wrong or whatever, so you'll see this uh, three times. Um, it works okay, but the reliability is not, uh, not optimal. So uh, last days I spent uh, rewiring all the control lines because they were a bit a result from organic growth. And uh, I hope that will improve the reliability, but I think I need to hardwire it in PCBs. Thanks for GLC PCB that they will make uh, fantastic boards for that. Well, the view stays the same of the new attempt to uh, reach a higher number, which won't uh, happen. The next item I would like to discuss is uh, testing the system. I developed uh, three tools that can be very helpful in testing if, uh, if all the wires are correctly and if the, the thing works on a board level. To finish off for today, I have some pictures of, uh, of some footage of me uh, testing electronics. There are a few ways you can do that. Uh, first, I start with functionality, which means uh, power on, uh, trying out various combinations. I use the power rail of my breadboard, which, which is on the right for it. Um, then, if I don't understand, if there's something wrong, I can uh, also use uh, power on but measure on the back side. There you can see uh, if the logic gates work or not. Uh, you get the hang of that very soon because uh, in the whole Serenity every logic gate looks the same. They're all NAND gates. Often, sometimes you'll find a NOT gate or an OR gate, NOR gate, but they're all NAND gates. So you get the hang of that very soon. And last resort is uh, power off and looking for continuity mistakes. When I look back at this year, basically, I built from February to until the summer, and in the summer I started to make uh, YouTube movies. I thought I was awful at it in the beginning, and I'm um, barely gaining momentum, but it will be better. Um, and But now it will change, because uh, I will build at the same pace you will. So I will build Serenity B, the simple one, the fast one. I will build Serenity 2, but you will see my progress as it, uh, as it happens. So it may be a bit slow, but I don't think so, but we'll see. I'll see you next time, and um, I, I often forget to tell you to like and subscribe, but it helps the algorithm, and it would be nice to reach more people. So thank you about that, thanks for watching, see you next time.